black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
All right, y'all, back with another what I've been eating to get unfat. <laughs> Today we have something of sort of the Asian persuasion you'll have seen come together. I was trying to do it all chill and mysterious and ASMR-esque sort of deal, but uh, it's kind of nice to just sometimes cook and not explain things. It's kind of nice to like, I have a podcast in when I'm doing it and I just zen out and do all the chopping and stuff. But yes, this is like a supremely healthy, low calorie, nice yield, big meal. Uh, it does fill you up for a good amount of time. And uh, it's like essentially like no carbs except for these chow mein noodles, crispy chow mein noodles. So let's get into a bite, have some chats. And uh, I'll just let you know, this thing is, this is a delicious meal. I've been on it completely heavy lately because I love bok choy, I love celery, I love mushrooms. I, I forgot to add in a video recently that mushrooms are a, uh, a definite good uh, vegetable that I've been partaking in eating like this lately, like healthier. Mm. I've upped the lighting in here today and I've moved the focus so my face is less blurry but maybe you can't get as much on the meal I'm not sure still working things out crispy chow mein noodles so cheap buy them in a big pack I add them to salads I add them on top of like cheesy broccoli anywhere a textural crunch is required just to make it more enjoyable they come in complete handy of course I was trying to chef up the uh, <laughs> how the uh, Chinese places do it you cut the celery on like a chunky bias what can you say cannot go wrong with this plate I already know some of you are gonna get at me about my my chicken how it's like very crispy and seemingly dry I personally love my chicken to have that golden exterior texture I don't really like to in put it put it in in the pan and have it come out kind of like more soft and steamed. The uh, that crispiness gives it a better deeper flavor, and I'm a texture guy. I love the varying textures. So nice and suitable for the for the weather right now too, because fall it's like just a nice hot, it's a big hot plate. Real nice for the uh, current seas. 
Oh, and I have my butternut squash on. Excuse me. Sorry to be a super loud. I know I give a little, I give a little like rundown of the sauces that I have there, but. Just so you know, oyster sauce and the lemongrass, ginger lemongrass is the dominant. Just a touch of soy for this, for the salt and then vinegar to balance out like the cut because between the there's a lot of umami going on in here so you need something with some sort of brightness You could add a little honey if you want. You can also put a dab of sesame oil. <coughs> For me, sesame oil, I've just been eating a lot lately. And it's like, it sometimes overpowers everything. I'll be real careful with it. Then of course we brought along our something something cool and refreshing on the palate with our runny rizzle that you guys have seen so many times. This one's extra runny. I mainly just included that for the uh, ASMR-ish prep just to add in, you know, more of that. But you guys have seen this so many times. And one day we will see it drip off the tip of an extra cheesy, extra crispy pepperoni pizza pie. There will be those days. I'm already planning like cheat meal video videos in my head. Some homemade, some ordered. Funny, I was talking to somebody who messaged me who's been watching for a long time from New Zealand. And she was telling me how pepperoncinis and pepperoncini liquid or brine has changed her life. <laughs> and that she has fully ordered like a pizza hut uh, pie and made the runny ranch and like and ate it together and was like it life changing <laughs> life changing I don't think I've had anybody ever like actually tell me that they actually like made that exact thing before or, or like did it or tried it
So that to me was very entertaining. That other people out there know the level of like just deliciousness that that provides. Mm. Like I said, a lot of food. Three stalks of celery, two and a half bunches of Shanghai bok choy. Like seven mushrooms. To me, it definitely feels like a full meal. And when you look up the calories for bok choy and celery, you literally burn more chewing it. Then it then it's worth. The sauces aren't much. Not super heavy, don't use a lot. Fantastic. And who knew that? Like hot celery was so delicious. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've got some uh, Thanksgiving, a little bit of leftovers. I'll be making a video of that. It's not going to be a traditional Thanksgiving style meal. Something I'm making out of it that I'm going to consider a bit of a cheat meal because I am having bread. Because I need some bread for it. But it's still uh, nothing crazy. That'll be up in like a day or two. Once again, this is uh, just lick the plate, like whatever all that is. <laughs> Sauce. Oh man. So good. All right. One more of these guys for the road. And that'll be it. Healthy, cheap, low calorie, low carb, big, easy to cook. Dinner option. It's amazing. Give it a try. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.